How are you today? I'm so glad you have come to visit me in my studio again. My name is Miss Vicki. I live in a place that in the winter time we get lots of snow. You can look out the window and see I have snow outside and we have darkness and it gets very, very, very cold. A long time ago was a cold, dark winter and I read some beautiful words. Would you like to hear those beautiful words? Well, it said this, the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. And joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. So I even wrote a song and sang about a garden. And do you know what else you could do in the midst of winter if you would like to have a garden? Make a painting or a drawing about a flower or a garden. I like to take pictures of gardens. I have a botanical gardens where I live and in the summertime it's a wonderful place to go and the kids love to come and they love to play. There's lots of flowers and trees and it's just a really fun place to go and I know you would like to go there also. Today we're going to do a project called a flower garden and we're going to go visit my granddaughters and they are going to have fun too. Let's go! I'm here at my granddaughter's now. We're sitting around the dining room table and I have Miss Jardine. Hi! And Olivia. Olivia! And we are getting ready. We're so excited to do some flowers today. So we've got all our supplies and I'm going to go quickly over our supplies just to make sure if you don't have everything you can pause it and you can get what you need and, and enjoy. The girls are going to be painting on canvas today and these are um, really nice. I got them I think at Michael's. You get about six for ten dollars so I get them on sale and what's so great about them is after they're finished with their artwork they can just hang it on the wall. We don't have to bother with um, putting some construction paper behind or um, putting a frame or anything like that. They're ready to go. We've got water. We have one jar for our clean. dirty clean. Yeah, and one jar for our, for our dirty water, our paint water. Yes, and we, we have pencils. We have just our little watercolor sets. We don't need anything super fancy. We've got some paper towels and we have some salt. Ta da Sea salt? Any salt will work. Any salt will work, yes. And we need some reference pictures. So I included, at the beginning of this, I, rec I included some pictures and I also re included on my post and on my, um, on my website some flower pictures. We want a, we're gonna do a big flower and I have, I have taken lots of photographs. You can choose one of those or you could find one of your own. But you don't want to have lots and lots and lots of little flowers and stuff. You want to have one big flower. So kind of a close-up. So what we've done is we have taken, the girls have chosen a picture that they like, and I'm going to show you. And we've actually put it on iPad. And so this is the picture that, I don't know if you can Olivia. see it, that Olivia chose. And this is actually a white wild rose from the Botanical Garden in Fairbanks. And this... I'm doing the sunflower. So we're going to get started. A lot of this project at the beginning is we're going to be using our pencils to draw our, our flower. And um, we're going to take some time on that. And once we get our pencil drawing to where we like it, we'll take our ink and go over the lines. Dear God, thank you for all of these wild flowers <laughs> and a bunch of stuff. And thank you for letting us paint. And these are beautiful pictures that we are drawing. And everything does not have to be perfect on these pictures. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm going to actually do a little close-up so you can, you can watch what we're doing as we're drawing. So Olivia has used um, as a reference, she's got a, a picture of a flower on her iPad. And she's gone on her canvas. And she just took her pencil to start off with. And she kind of used the, the picture on the iPad as a little bit of a guideline where she 
put some little pencil marks to draw the flower. And then once she had her pencil marks where she wanted the flower to go, she picked up her pen and she's going over the lines. And now she is erasing her pencil marks. Oops, here comes the pencil. <laughs> she kind of, she's got lots more space on her canvas. So she's gonna have a lot more room to draw some more flowers, some leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go take a look at Jardine. She chose a sunflower. So to start off with, she made kind of a circle with in pencil. And um, she made it quite big. She's, we're trying to fill up our canvas. And then she started, she looked at the petals on her picture and she kind of looked at the shapes of how they are. And so she started drawing in pencil. She's got some overlapping petals, some petals that are underneath. And then what, and she did that in pencil. And then once she kind of was like, oh, yeah, okay, I kind of like these petals. She got her pen and she's going over. And once she fills up the, the, with the petals, then she's gonna erase all that pencil. Jardine is pretty happy with her drawing. Yeah, so she, she did her drawing. I outlined on all my pencils, so I really don't need to erase that much. Yeah, she did not She did a lot of her petals just in ink without pencil. Yeah. So she has now erased, she's, yeah. So she's got a nice sunflower there. And there's her picture. She's got a little more space on her canvas. And what were you thinking to put over on that space? A couple leaves or a branch. And Miss Olivia is over here. Boy, she's just really going to town erasing. She had a little hard time erasing with her needed eraser for some reason. So she's just going to town. And you know, you don't have to get every single line erased because you're going to be putting some paint on it. Yeah. So Olivia, <laughs> <laughs> so what are you thinking about putting behind your flower? Um, in this picture, I'm gonna put kind of like leaves in the background some and leaves. a couple branches. And back here, there's another like flower. So you're gonna so add I another might, flower. So I might add like a flower right here. Okay, yeah, so, so we want to fill up our canvas. And you know, remember this is a flower garden. You might even have a couple pictures of flowers and you could add, okay? Because Looking good, girls. All right, Jardine is having fun with her pen. She's made some little lines in the, um, for sort of like veins in the petals of her sunflower. And now she's gone to the inner part where all these little seeds are. And she's doing something in, we call stippling, and she's in pen and ink, and then she's doing some little shape, just little shapes kind of for the seeds. Like this, you just like do a line and a curve. Yeah, and so she's and just making some little shapes. This she, is fun. It is fun, isn't it? This is pen and ink drawing, and we're just gonna make a nice pen and ink drawing before we do our painting. And we're gonna come over here, and we see Olivia. She's hard at work. Hi, Olivia. <laughs> I'm hard and at work. she's made herself another flower. She's having fun with her flowers. And, you know, if she wants to add some more flowers, even though in her picture she's just got two flowers and some leaves, I'm so she add wants more. to add some more flowers. Some flower gardens plants. don't have like two, like one flower in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times in a painting, we, we look at threes, we think of threes. Okay, so the girls have just done some beautiful little pen and ink drawings here. Lots of little detail. They've taken their time and they've been using their reference. So Jardine would like to put a butterfly in there. And we've decided we're actually going to get on a um, computer and we're going to see if we can find some butterfly pictures. And she's Olivia's looks use a butterfly reference. So let's take a look. And Olivia. So Olivia, she has just made a beautiful garden with her flowers. And did you want to put a butterfly in your picture also? Yes. Yeah. I so love we're just gonna take a little break. Or we're a gonna, caterpillar. Yeah, maybe a caterpillar. Just anything that you might find in a garden. And we're gonna. A ladybug. Ladybugs. Yep. You could do some ladybugs. So both girls have decided. After they drew their flowers and some leaves, some little branches, they thought, I would like to add a butterfly. So we got on internet, 
and we found a butterfly and they're going to use the same butterfly. So let's take a look at Olivia's. First of all, she drew it in pencil and just got the outside shape. Okay, so on the butterfly we have a little middle body and then we have two sets of wings. And the thing about a butterfly is the wings on each side are pretty similar to each other. So she's working, now she's working in ink, that's where she's gonna get her detail on her butterfly, where she's gonna have her lines. Let's take a look at Jardine. So Jardine has got wonderful pen and ink drawing of her sunflower. There you go, and now she's working on her butterfly. And I think she's still in, she did it first in pencil and then ink, now she's erasing. We've got some beautiful little detail lines that Olivia is making with her pen and ink. She's filling in some of the black part of the body of the butterfly. But I'm still leaving a little bit. You see how there's like white down here? Yep. That's why when you're drawing or when you're painting, it's, there's something called observation. I have an idea. You're really gonna look at something. Could, could I go? What are the shapes? What are the colors? Grandma, could I go, could I go like this? Like that, like and draw kind of like. Yeah, you certainly can. This is your butterfly, so you can make your butterfly however you would like to make it. Yay! When we look at a picture, we're just kind of using it as a little bit of a reference to give us some ideas. We worked so hard on our drawings, <laughs> and we thought, let's just come and play on the trampoline a little bit. And when we're ready, we'll go back in, and we will start painting. Maybe you need a little fun. break too. Well, we have started painting. We had a fun break outside, and we came in all fresh, ready to go. And we're just using our simple little watercolors. They're not expensive. And we're just gonna use those. We'll use probably our little salt technique, and at times they might uh, rub a little bit with some paper towel. They've got some paint water and some clean blending colors, mixing colors making these beautiful, joyful little flower paintings. A lot of times when I'm teaching, I like to say, we're going to design like a turtle and paint like a rabbit. And that's what we're doing here. So the girls took some time and they worked on their design. They started their flowers with pencil. Once they got what they wanted, then they went over in ink. And that just gives them a nice little framework that they can get started. They've done some beautiful little pen and ink drawings. Jardine's a little older, so she's got some more detail in hers. Gives her a beautiful framework. It's almost like a child designing their own coloring book. And then they're not afraid to jump in and just have a lot of fun with color. The reason that we use the permanent marker, these are Sharpie markers, and, and I don't recommend you know, kids just to be able to do whatever they want with Sharpies. No. But they're permanent markers, which means that if they draw on paper or on canvas, and then they put some acrylic paint or some watercolor over, the lines will not bleed. They're permanent. Yep. And so um, that's and they why come I use off it. You. to put a, a little, little sparkle. sparkle in it. So what are you using to put some sparkle in it? Um, like some goldish rose gold. glitter. Like rose gold yeah, glitter, rose yeah. Gold. Oh, okay, so you're throwing a little glitter on there. Because I like There's sparkle some stuff. Grandma, show them my glitter for me. Wow, I love your butterfly. My butterfly. Now since I have glitter on here, <laughs> the number one thing to have right now is glitter. It's glitter. In COVID, all you can do is just Play with glitter. Sparkle everything. Sparkle. Sparkle. No. So Olivia has finished her flowers and she's finished her leaves and branches and her butterfly. And now she's working on her background and she's doing a little mix of some colors. And then she's putting some salt and rubbing up a little bit with her paper towel. It gives her a nice little texture. She's creating a beautiful garden.
see, my sister finished hers, but I'm still working. And I kind of bled in some orange to make it more, because the yellow kind of pops with the orange, and then I did my background blue. And then my grandma helped me with leaves, and now all I'm finishing up is a butterfly. Don't tell anyone there's a ladybug there.